welcome parents and students to the seventh grade virtual awards for 2019-2020 Riverwood Middle School. We appreciate you tuning in and thank you for all your patience and support during this new adventure. We miss the students and have enjoyed them this year. We are very regretful this award ceremony is not in person, but we still wanted to celebrate your students and the accomplishments. Raven Strong. I'm here presenting uh, Ms. Lochner's awards. We're going to start off with her highest GPA for math. Ariana Surreal, Gabriella Oliveira, Kira Polchinki, and Colton Repper received Ms. Lochner's um, highest GPA in her classes. Um, for her Raven Award, Ms. Lochner picked two students, um, and she wanted me to read this about each of those students. My female Raven Award goes to Sydney McCain. Sydney is one of the brightest and hardest working math students I have ever had the pleasure of teaching. The time and effort she put in making her math work neat, organized, and showing every step of her work is something I was always so proud of. She demonstrated mastery of every concept taught due to her dedicated efforts. I am honored to have witnessed such dedication and to have had her in my class. Keep being amazing, Sydney. Ms. Lochner also gave Alex Spencer her Raven Award. My Mel Raven Award goes to Alex Spencer. Alex always gave 115% to his math. He worked hard all the time. He always asked questions when he didn't understand something, and then would check with me to make sure that he got it right. Alex always worked well with his classmates and was willing to help when someone else needed it. Alex's effort in his class or in class made him a phenomenal math student, and I'm honored to have had the chance to be his teacher. Keep up the great work, Alex. Last but certainly not least, um, Ms. Lautner picks two students to receive her most improved award. Those two students worked very hard all throughout the year, and they are Allie Calhoun and Robert Foreman. I am Mrs. Jones, and I'm going to be presenting Ms. Helms' awards. Dear my seventh grade math class, I apologize I am unable to attend your award ceremony. I am traveling back to Charlotte to take my grandfather home. I miss you so much, and so blessed you are my babies for my first full year of teaching, Ms. Helms. So her first block highest average is Braylon Slater. Her second block highest average is Olivia Simon. Her fifth block highest average is Dyra Pancheco. Her seventh block highest average is Jayla McClanny. She also gave two of Raven Awards. Words do not express how kind-hearted and loving these two students are. They always knew how to make me smile even when I was down. My first award goes to Caleb Holland. A student who puts others above himself, he strives to make everyone happy before looking out for himself. Caleb is always one that will lean over and help you figure out how to do that difficult math problem. He will always feel cool way, find cool ways to solve a problem that you never think of. I will never understand how his brain works and how he comes up with these unique ways so quickly. I am so proud of you. Keep up the hard work and your leadership in the classroom. The second Raven Award goes to Annie Shields, who never lets anything defeat her. She is so strong and hardworking. Things may not come easy, but she will strive to make sure she is, she is to perfection. She has a heart of gold, and everyone looks up to her in class. She is always so engaged in lessons and eager to answer questions and read the word problems. Sometimes I have to say, I want someone else to read this, Annie, to help her out. I am so proud of how much growth you have made in your academics as a leader. Keep up the hard work and passion. Her next is her most improved girl. The student has grown so much throughout the school year. She went from no confidence in math to actually feeling proud of her work. I am so excited to see this student continue to blossom. My most improved girl is Carly Archambault, the most improved boy. The student, never seems but, the student never seems but to amaze me. He is always up for a challenge. He has overcome a lot of obstacles and still has the growth in his math scores and overall grades. This student still makes me laugh when he is solving a multi-step equation he says is easier than a one-step equation. Keep up the hard work and determination. Omar Kalazit. Hi, 
this is Miss Edwards. My highest average for this year in first block was Gavin Cahu de Lima. In second block was Xavier Long. In sixth block was Claire Buckner. And in seventh block was Brendan Stevens. Congratulations for your hard work. For the Raven Award, the two students I've chosen for my Raven Award are extremely responsible, mature, kind, and high achieving students. Lucas Dubois is one of the most responsible students that I have ever taught. He is mature and well-spoken. He has to miss school at times due to health issues, but usually completes his work with the highest quality at the same time as his other high-achieving high classmates who were at school through the entire unit. He is kind and caring towards his classmates as well as his teachers. Through distance learning, he has also gave me very helpful feedback and found and explained mistakes that I made with such grace. L. Stevenson is also an extremely responsible and mature student. L. is a deep thinker and attacks problems with unique approaches. I always appreciated the feedback she gave me because I know it was well thought out and that she always gave her best effort. At times, I know she was bored in my class, but she always was willing to share her enthusiasm for math and problem solving. When I was struggling to get thoughts out, she was there for me and restated my thoughts in such a perfect way. For most improved, the two students I chose for most improved did not necessarily improve their grades because they were both high achieving throughout the year. They stand out because of their amazing work ethic and therefore their math knowledge improved greatly throughout the year. Both students attended tutoring weekly and Google Meets consistently. They didn't just show up for tutoring in Google Meets. They came prepared with specific questions and needs. They were proactive in their work studies. I thoroughly enjoyed getting to know and working with Tanner Bain and Isabella Gonzalez. Hi, I'm Ms. Russo, and I'm going to announce my math highest averages for each block. First block is Noah Komen. Second block is Don Elijah Tyrell. Fifth block is Lacey Watts. And seventh block is Danielle Whitson. For my Raven Award, I chose two students who show very high maturity, they work hard, and they're always there to brighten my day. Hayden Hamlin Lish is responsible, respectful, he works hard, he's kind to all of his classmates, and he's been working very hard during virtual learning, and I will absolutely miss him next year. Danielle Whitson works hard, she's very mature, she's responsible, she's always keeping me organized by the time we get to seventh block, and she has an amazing work ethic, and I hope that she will continue this next year. For my most improved, I chose two students who are also very high in work ethic. They are kind, they are respectful, and they are always there with a smile on their face every day. They are both in my homeroom, so I get to see them a little extra. Anthony Holloway is a very good thinker. He asks really good questions, and he is always there to give me a hug and to say good morning. Serenity Bax works very hard. She is great in class. She behaves so well. She asks really good questions, and she keeps everybody at her table organized. My name is Tara Shields, and I teach seventh grade ELA. Um, my highest GPA is Lucas Dubois, Addie Holshue, and second, I have Brendan Stevens, L. Stevenson, Lauren Sayers Rodriguez. For sixth, I have Carly Pope. And for seventh, I have Xavier Long. Next, I have Most Raven Award. For the Raven Award, I picked two students who have really made an impact on me as I came in in February. Um, for the girl, I picked Carly Pope. She is always willing to help me in anything that I'm a little confused on, and she's always going above and beyond with her ELA assignments. For the Boy Award, I picked Anton Hallinger. For Anton, um, since he's in my first block, he's always a smiling face I see every day when I come in, and he's always so bubbly and sweet and reminds me how much he really enjoys me being there every day. Um, the next thing I'm going to present is the most improved. Um, these two students have shown exceptional growth um, from first quarter to third. 
My, um, the first I would like to present is Alexandra Hiller, and the second one is Chase Coughlin. My Raven Award for a girl goes to Adriana Lobo. She gave it her all every single day in ELA. She had higher level thinking, great participation, insight, and analysis on every topic. On top of that, she was so creative, a leader, as well as a team player in everything we did. She was always kind-hearted, respectful, and caring about her peers and teachers. She is truly a role model for everyone. I was so lucky to be her teacher this year. For my boy, Raven, this award goes to Seven Simons. He is the most polite, upstanding seventh grader I have ever encountered. His mannerisms were a step above, and his consideration to his peers and teachers were truly a sight to see. He was always working ahead of the rest of his class and did it with a smile on his face. He was always trying to better himself, not only with his work, but as a person. He is someone I am very proud of every day. My next award goes to my most improved girl, and this award goes to Olivia Simon. Her work ethic was astounding, and her writing development grew leaps and bounds over the year. She grew a total of 7% throughout the school year. She will undoubtedly be a writer someday, and her growth throughout the year shows her hard work and determination. I am very proud of her. My most improved boy goes to Preston Cranford, who grew a whopping 11% throughout his school year. His hard work and determination definitely earned him this award. I will always remember the smile Preston had on his face when he would turn in his one-pagers. And to me, that is what this award is all about, being proud of your work and working hard for it. Hi, I'm presenting for Ms. Cardos today. For her highest average in ELA, first block was Avery Eller, second block was Danielle Woodson, sixth block was Noah Cohen, and seventh block was Don Elijah Tyrell. For her Raven Award, she chose two students, uh, her first, Aubrey McCann, sweet and always smiling. She's kind to all of her classmates and she is respectful to her teachers. For her second one, she chose Zach Chestnut. He is kind and respectful, always willing to help and has a great attitude and he's always a hard worker. Uh, Ms. Cardo's chose for most improved for her boy, Ezekiel Bailey. He has really come out of his shell this year. He is respectful and kind to his classmates. And for her girl, she chose Jamie Collins. She works hard to finish all of her work and has made huge strides in ELA this year. She is always sweet and she is always smiling. One of the best parts of our day. I'm here to read Miss White's awards and she asked me to say the following. I'm sorry that I'm not there today. I hope all of you are well. I know this situation is not ideal, but just because you don't see my face or hear my voice does not mean I am not thinking of you. I had such a hard time choosing awards this year as I have so many students who should be recognized. I thank those of you who have continued to persevere and try, even in the face of this pandemic. As you know, it is not about the grade, but about learning and growing. Those of you who continue to work will lead the way in the future. The following students received the highest GPA for Ms. White. Hannah Damron, Kira Polchinki, Brianna Martinez Rivalorio, Kaoni Williams, and Gabriela Oliveira. For Ms. White's Raven Award, she chose the following young man. This young man makes quite an impression, even if he does not realize it. He is one of those rare seventh graders that possesses a maturity that makes it easy to feel like you are talking to an adult. His kind smile, he, he is kind, smiles and laughs easily, is sarcastic in the best possible way, intelligent and curious. He works well in a collaborative environment and is so laid back, he just seems to put those around him at ease. He does not need to be the center of attention and is happy to observe, but there does not seem to be judgment in his observations. If he is making judgments, he knows how to keep them to himself, which is rare in a seventh grader. I know from experience, the quiet observer oftentimes sees the most. I have enjoyed having him in my class and look forward to great things from Will Vanderpool. This young lady can be described as the perfect student. I have never heard her get caught up in the gossip and drama that sometimes rears its ugly head in middle school. She works well with others and seeks to understand and exceed all expectations about what can be achieved. She is intelligent, quiet, respectful, questioning, motivated, and extremely hardworking. 
In fact, she almost works too hard and is sometimes her own worst enemy because she wants so, wants so much to produce stellar work. I want her to know that she is wonderful just the way she is, and I hope that when she is not confident in the work that she has done, that I am confident in the work she has done and will do. This Raven Award goes to Hannah Damron. Now Hannah, go take a break and have some fun. The following students received Ms. White's Most Improved Awards. Sarah Hatcher received the Most Improved Award for Ms. White. This young lady has had some struggles this year, as most seventh graders do, but I have seen her work hard to learn to communicate her needs and feelings effectively. She is very bright, even though she does not believe she is, and her study habits and efforts have increased. And she is starting to see just starting to see how just committing to doing well can bring about a huge amount of pride and satisfaction. We are so proud of Sarah, and I hope she uses this award as an incentive to keep growing next year. Andrew Pugh received the Mel Award for Most Improved for Ms. White. I have pushed this young man a lot this year, and there are times when he definitely was out of his comfort zone. While able to do the work, he was held back by his lack of confidence in himself. Oftentimes, he would look at the length of an assignment and throw his hands up and give up from the very beginning. Throughout, he continued to work hard and learned to use the tools I was teaching to break up the work into pieces and take it one step at a time. He answered questions and asked questions, and I hope he continues to use the methods we covered this year to push himself and be successful in years to come. I am here to announce Mr. Burke's awards. He is a social studies teacher at RMS, and I'm going to start with his highest GPA. Um, for Mr. Burke's highest GPA in social studies, he has Jaslyn Hale, Lacey Watts, Don Elijah Tyrell, Bridget Bell, Isaac Linton, Adriana Lobo, and Emily Morris. For Mr. Burke's Raven Awards, he chose a male and a female that he felt like had excellent character traits, that did really well in his classroom, and that really just stood out amongst their peers. Um, for Mr. Burke's female, he chose Samantha Four. She is always in his Google Meets, always asks questions, and does a really great job in school. For his male Raven Award, Mr. Burke chose Emmanuel Akumani. Um, I personally don't teach Emmanuel, but I know that Mr. Burke has talked several times about how mature he is and respectful, and he really enjoyed having him in his class this year. For most improved, Mr. Burke chose a male and a female as well. Um, for his male, he chose Wyatt Lewis. He said that he really um, gave a lot of effort in his class and improved as the year went on and was a stellar student. Um, for the female, he chose Alana Debro, um, saying the same things about her, that she really was dedicated to her education and worked really hard to get the grades that she earned in the end. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm here for my classroom's highest GPA. We had some very good students in all my blocks, so let's see who made the cut. My first block, the highest GPA, goes to the Terminator, Elle Stevenson. She was an outstanding student, over 100 average. Good job, good for you. Second block, my highest average goes to Lucas Dubois. My fifth, sixth block, the highest GPA goes to none other than Xavier Wallinch. Xavier, Boston Celtics aren't going to win the championship. Just wanted to throw that in real quick. Last but not least, my seventh block, the highest GPA goes to a new kid. He came to my room late in the year, but he's a hard worker, the hardest working kid I've had in quite a while, Braylon Slater. Great job, Braylon, and all the students who had the highest GPA in my class. Now I'm going to tell you guys real quick about my Raven Award winners. My first Raven Award winner that I'm going to tell you about is going to be a young man who is in my homeroom. Yeah, he may have ran into my smart board one and got in a little trouble because of that. But we're going to not talk about that. But he is a great kid. So Christopher Mejia Reyes, you're my Raven Award. You have a bright future ahead of you. And when you're making those big hits as a producer in the rap game, don't forget about Mr. Waller. Now, my girl Raven Award winner, she is a very, very, very good kid. Every single day she would smile, say, hi, how are you doing, Mr. Waller? Great kid. She's new to the school. This was her first year here, and I think she's going to be an outstanding student and future leader wherever she goes in her life. So, my girl Raven Award winner goes to none other than Taylor Weingart. 
I want you to know I'm proud of both of you too, and I know you're going to do well in the future. Last but not least, guys, I have my most improved students. So let me tell you about these guys real quick. For my most improved male student, I'm going to go with Bajon McLean. Bajon, you worked hard for me all year. Even though when you would talk to me and say, good morning, Mr. Waller, and I would just stare at you like you weren't there, I want you to know that every single day I was glad to see you and proud of the work that you did for me. You improved big time. Bajon in the sky is truly the limit for you. Female most improved student of the year is going to go to Michaela Johns. I want to say real quick that during this whole virtual learning, Michaela has done great with her online work. She's done all of her assignments. It's been great work. And even before we left, because of the pandemic, she was doing much, much, much better in my class. So both of those two are deserving of their awards. Those are the awards for Mr. Waller's class. Hope you guys have a great year, and I enjoy teaching you guys. I'll see you at the gym. My name is Lisa Smith, and I teach social studies. The following students received the highest GPA in my classes this year. Riles Wells, Hannah Damron, yeah. Joshua O'Donovan, and Madeline Gutierrez. For the Raven Award, I picked two students that are super dedicated, they are hardworking, they're very responsible, they are great friends, and they're also great classmates. Um, both are very mature, they're, they're well-rounded, and all of their teachers would say this about both of these children. Um, for my Mel Raven Award, I gave it to Diego Vega Herrera, and for my Female Raven Award, I gave it to Brianna Martinez. My Most Improved, I gave to Maggie Brown and Caden Boyd. Okay, um, I'm going to give you guys the list of the highest GPA for science for Ms. Johnson, myself's class, uh, Xavier Long, Savannah Locke, Braylon Slater, Jaslyn Hale, L. Stevenson, Brendan Stevens, Diego Vega, Lucas Dubois, Howard Ho, and Zoe Edmonds. For my Raven Award, for my female Raven, I chose this student for the Raven Award because she demonstrates exceptional character. She's an excellent role model in the classroom. She's kind to everyone. She always asks good questions and does her very best on every assignment. She's completed every single at-home assignment, um, so I know that her education is very important to her. This student will definitely do great things in life with her work ethic and her kindness. My choice for Female Raven Award is Emily Morris. And uh, my Male Raven Award. I chose this student for the Raven Award because he brightens my day every day. He comes to school in a great mood. This student's also a great role model for everyone around him. He is kind to all of his classmates. He's a great athlete, and he works hard to do his best in everything. Even though he is smart and talented, he is not a show-off. He's not arrogant. I know that he'll be successful in life with his positivity and his strong work ethic. He completed every single at-home assignment, and usually before 10 a.m. My choice for Male Raven Award is Xavier Long. For Most Improved, I chose two students for Most Improved. One, um, she's worked very hard since we've been out of school and has overcome a lot of obstacles in the classroom. She asked questions and even asked for additional assignments while we've been at home learning. My Most Improved student is Emery Liriano. And this is mostly due to her continued work ethic, especially during the time of at-home learning. My other student for um, Most Improved worked really hard since we've been at home doing distance learning. He gets all of his assignments done and when we're in the classroom and at home. He always asks great questions and makes sure that he's doing his assignment correctly. My Most Improved male student is Tristan Langston. Hi again. I'm now going to be giving Mr. Archer's awards. We're going to start off with highest GPA for all of his science classes. The following kids received those awards. John Liu, Ariana Surreal, Colton Reppert, Lauren Sayers Rodriguez, Claire Buckner, Hannah Damron, and Kira Kulchinki. Next up is his Raven Award. His Girl Raven Award was given to Anaya McMillan, and his Boy a Raven, Raven Award is given to Kaomi Williams. For his Most Improved Award, 
he picked Quante Coleman and Anaya McMillan. Congratulations, guys. I'm Shannon Joseph, and I teach science at Riverwood, and I'm first going to go over the awards for my block's highest GPA. Um, for first block, my highest GPA was Don Elijah Tyrell. For second block, it was Anton Hollinger. For sixth block, Danielle Whitson. And for seventh block, Evan Herman. Um, my next award is the Raven Award, which we technically give out to a child who has great character traits, does a really good job in the classroom, and really just kind of shines bright for us. Um, so for my female Raven Award, I chose Addie Holshue. Um, when I think about Addie, she's always smiling, always working, and she does a really good job at staying focused, getting her classwork done, and then she always comes to me and says, Ms. Joseph, is there anything I can do for you? She's always so helpful in my classroom. She's a role model for the other kids, and she's really hardworking. And so I think Addie is a great recipient for this award. Um, for my male Raven Award, I chose Landon Evans. He is by far one of the most respectful kids I have ever taught. Um, he is always doing what he's supposed to be doing. He gets his work done quickly, and it's also correct. So I know he's really taking his time, and he really understands the material in my class. Um, he's very hardworking, and the thing I love most about Landon is that he has excellent morals. He's kind to everybody, and he's just such a great kid. So those are my two Raven Awards. Um, the next award is Most Improved. So these two kids I chose because I really saw them advocating for themselves and really just doing better in science this year. Um, for my female, I chose Trinity Peterson. Um, Trinity and I have an excellent relationship because she's so silly all the time, but Trinity focuses really hard at doing well in my class. Um, when she struggles, she asks questions. She comes to my desk and I will individually help her because she advocates for herself. Um, she went from a completely letter grade up to another completely different letter grade in my class, and she did a great job making her grades better. Um, another student that I chose for this award is Walter Kennedy. Um, Walter really stayed focused in my class, and he was constantly doing his work, also asking questions if he needed clarification for things. And he really um, tried hard to understand things in science, and I appreciated that. So, yeah. The following students are being recognized as recipients of the Duke Tip Award for the 2019-2020 school year. Jackson Antoine, Aidan Bernard, Gatlin Bridgers, Anthony Brisbane, Victoria Bryant, Claire Buckner, Gavin Cahoo de Lima, Ariel Sisidu, Hannah Damron, Francesca Di Giovanni. Lucas Dubois, Mason Eberl, Zoe Edmonds, Charlene Esteban Vesquez, Bridget Feld, Owen Fitzsimmons, Alexander Floyd, Jaslyn Fontanez Zambrano, Nolan Ford, David Gomez, Abigail Gustafson, Madeline Gutierrez, Jaslyn Hell, Joseph Hatch, Logan Helmer, Evan Herman, Caleb Holland, Addie Holshue, Elliot Jones, Eva Jones. Isaac Linton, Savannah Locke, Sydney McCain, Helena McNutt, Rachel Mura, Tucker Napier, Roger Nichols Jr., Braden O'Brien, Joshua O'Donovan, Gabriel Phillips, Kira Polchinki, Jennifer Rowley, Gabriella Sela, L. Stevenson, Brendan Stevens, Jacob Stewart, Diego Vega Herrera, Riles Wells, James Williams, and Jaden Williams. Today I'll be presenting the different awards for clubs, such as Math Count, Battle of the Books, and Science Olympiad. Our Math Counts team this year included three 7th grade students. Those students were Brendan Stevens, L. Stevenson, and Kira Ernest. Some highlights from their competition team was that they took first place and four students um, got into the top 20 for the county. And two of those four students were our seventh graders, which were Brendan Stevens and L. Stevenson. Um, Brendan Stevens also placed fourth place overall and took second place in the countdown round. 
Our next club is the Battle of the Books team. Battle of the Books is a statewide competition that requires students to read from a designated book list and then answer questions about the books that they've read. The student that gets this award is a student that practiced hard and represented Riverwood Middle School very well. As a whole, the team placed first place in the county competition where they competed against all of the other middle schools in the county, and they scored well above all of the other teams. In fact, Riverwood came out ahead in 12 out of 13 rounds of this competition. The seventh grader receiving this award is Ayala Ramos, and she will be receiving a certificate and a team photo as well. Our last club award comes from our Science Olympiad team. Science Olympiad competed and came in 10th place overall as they competed against schools from all over the state. The student receiving this award is our 7th grader Wyatt Lewis. He was an integral part to the success of the team and he was dedicated and reliable. I will be recognizing all the 7th grade Riverwood Middle students who earned Principal's List in honor roll. Please excuse any mispronunciations. Principal's List. Excellent work. You work hard to earn all A's for the entire year. Principal's List is awarded to Adriana Lobo, Alexis Martins, Anton Hollinger, Braylon Slater, Brendan Stevens, Brenna Bowman, Claire Buckner, Dyra Pacheco Mendoza, Danielle Whitson, Diego Vega Herrera, Don Elijah Tyrell, L. Stevenson, Emily Morris, Evan Herman, Frankie DiGiviani, Gannon Johnson, Gavin Cahu de Lima, Hannah Damron, Isaac Linton, James Williams, Jayla McClammy, Jaslyn Hale, Kira Polzinski, Landon Evans, Lauren Sayers Rodriguez, Lily Cottle, Lucas Dubois, Madeline Gutierrez, Mason Abero, Matilda Team, Olivia Simon, Owen Fitzsimmons, Riles Wells, Savannah Locke, Cindy McCain, Tanner Bain, and Zoe Edmonds. Great job on your excellent work. Now for honor roll. Great job. You worked hard to earn all A's and B's for the entire year. Honor roll is awarded to Addie Holshu, Xander Church, Anna Beatrice Abru Marquise, Anthony Brisbane, Antonio Carter, Ariel Casido, Ariana Surreal, Ariana Mathewson, Ashton Alford, Aubrey McGann, Aubrey Warlow, Autumn Joyce, Avery Eller, Ayala Ramos, Bella Van Hooser, Billy Cole Poulton, Braden O'Brien, Brianna Martinez Revelorio, Caden Tuthill, Kaylin Parker, Caleb Holland, Cameron Bryant, Carly Pope, Carson Earp, Carter Jones, Cassidy Bruce, Charlene Esteban Vasquez, Chase Brown, Claire Hill, Colton Reppert, David Germain, David Gomez, Dia Brown, Devin Phillips, Dylan Carraway, Elliot Culler, Eva Jones, Gabriella Oliveira, Gabriella Sela, Garrett Westling, Gavin Scott, Gregory Rasner, Helena McNutt, Haley Johnston, Holly Elliott, Howard Ho, Isabella Gonzalez, Isaiah Evans, Isaiah Neal, Jacob Stewart, Jada Bobbitt, Jaslyn Fontana Zambrano, John Blue, JoLynn Ziegler, Lucas Hatch, Josette Jones, Josh O'Donovan, Joshua Van Smith, Caleb Bull, Catherine Massey, Kennedy Johnson, Keone Williams, Kira Ernest, Krista Horn, Lacey Watts, Lillian Tetro, Lindsay Ivey, Logan P Helmer, Mackenzie Murray, Madeline Brown, Michaela Peterson Jones, Maria Brito Espinoza, Maxim Gonzalez, Mackay Foy, Morgan Rinaldi, Nicolene Team, Noah Komen, Nolan Ford, Oliver Cohen, Parker Bird, Paul Andino, Medina, Peter Torricelli, Peyton Allen, 
Rachel Mira, Alex Spencer, Ryan Taylor, Sadie Long, Sadie McDuff, Samantha Four, Seven Simmons, Tucker Napier, Tyler Long, Victoria Bryant, Walter Kennedy, Xavier Long, Zayamara Vasquez, Cecina. Great job on getting honor roll all year long. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this virtual awards program. All of the kids who heard their names were great kids who worked really hard this year. We're proud of their effort, and we look forward to seeing what they do in the near future. Hope you guys have a great summer. Keep working hard in school, and big things will come your way.